let's make some wood fire beef jerky. I get the smoker going about 170, 200 degrees. And while that's getting up to temperature, we'll go ahead and slice this meat up. I use an electric meat slicer. It makes everything nice and even. I'm gonna coat this with honey, salt, and black pepper. going to throw it on the smoker. I'm going to flash the temperature up quite a bit and kind of grill it for a moment and then rotate it around. Rather than curing everything with salt to keep the botulism away, I'm actually going to cook this meat and then I'm going to lower the temperature after it's at a safe temperature so that I can finish it off with the smoke and uh, low heat. The whole process takes about four hours. You'll want to rotate the beef jerky that's closer to your heat source out with that on the other side so that you can keep everything uh, kind of even, evenly done. Whenever it's dry to your satisfaction, usually looking for little white strands whenever you break it. Um, some people like it a little drier than others, it's up to you. If you do it this way, it's going to be safe to eat regardless because you've cooked it. You will need to store this in a refrigerator though. Uh, it'll keep for a week, two weeks, probably even three, but it never lasts more than a week at my house when you make it. It's very strong because it's a... Uh, not smoked and then dehydrated. It goes through the whole process in the wood fire, so it can be a little strong for some people. I find it delicious. Whenever it's done, you'll want to put it in a bag and let it cool down. Put it in the refrigerator, and then don't quite judge it, uh, the firmness, until it's cooled all the way down in the refrigerator. It'll get a little bit snappier as it sits.